All right, download the starter files and boot up your application by typing in npm run dev, and of course also run npm install first. And then you will see something like this, and we're gonna start here for this tutorial. So we're gonna build a small application that looks like this. It's uh, images and a name from the final space API. I've used it before in some other video, but I think it's pretty cool. So I'm using it here also. And when we click this button here, it's gonna generate a random character with a name and the image. So that's what we're doing in this application. And um, everything of this is fetched from the API. So I'm gonna show you that also, but that's not important. And the styles and stuff aren't important either for this tutorial. So I've provided you with these in the starter files and we can take a look at the files just briefly here. So I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Uh, and if we look here, we have a setup uh, with Vite, as I told you about in the other video. And we have the main file. It's just the application here, the app component. And this is the app component. You can see that I'm importing something that's called fetch character from API. So I have a file that's called API. And this is TypeScript also. I'm going to talk about this later. And this is not actually React specific because this is TypeScript or yeah, JavaScript. So uh, it has nothing to do with React actually in this file, but this one will fetch a character for us when we provide an ID that we're gonna generate a, a random number. So it's gonna fetch a character for us. Then I have a components folder and I'm gonna have a card component that we're gonna use also. And the card is the one that you saw in the application here. That's the card, the complete component, the complete card component here. So that's what we're going to use, but we're going to start in the app.tsx file, the app, the, the main file, so to say, for this application. And I'm going to show you how to type components. And you can see that this app component here has a type that's called react.fc, and fc stands for a functional component. And this is a type that React provides for us so that we very easily can type our components. So this is a type for the complete component. So we can look here at the type. It's a react.fc type. If we remove this one, it will interpret this itself and say that it's a jsx.element, and that's perfectly fine. So in this case, it doesn't really matter if we type it with react.fc because we don't have any props. So you can see that I import the card component here. So we're going to create some props for that one, and I'm going to show you how to type that component. So instead of start here, we can change this one to the card. And if we check out the application here, we have the card component here, but it's empty now, of course, because we haven't done anything to it. So then we move inside the components and card.tsx file. You can see that I'm importing a wrapper and that's the styles for this one I provided for you. This is not a style tutorial. It's all about React and TypeScript. So that's why we don't do any styling here. And this one, you can see that it's a jsx.element, just as before. But this one is gonna take in some props. So we're gonna type our props first. And you can do it with an interface if you want to do that. Props like this, or you can use type. Today, it really doesn't matter because they are almost the same. So type props. I usually use type when I type the props because I'm used to that, so, so I don't really know why, but I think I read something a long time ago that type is better to use with React. And honestly, I don't know exactly why now. That's gonna have a small little sip of coffee, but you can use any of them, uh, type or interface, it doesn't matter. And for this particular component, we're gonna have a name, and this one is gonna be this, a string, so we type it as a string, and then we have the img URL. That's the image URL, of course, and that is also going to be a string. So that's the props for this component, but how do, do we type this component? Because we want to type these props for the specific component. So we can type this one as react.fc, just as we did before, but we don't have any props typed here. And this is actually something that's called a generic. So we have the angle brackets and inside of the angle brackets, we can send in the props. And this will type the props for this one. If we hover over this, it's react.fc and we have the props. So that's the correct type. And then we can just structure out the props here, the name and the IMD URL. And you can see that it doesn't complain more than that we're not using this one. 
if we were to destructure some other prop here that we don't have, for example, the ID, it will complain because we haven't typed them. You can see here that property ID does not exist on type props with children props. So if we had the ID also, for example, and let's say that it's a number, now it won't complain because we type it here. And that's the one of the benefits with TypeScript because it will yell at you if you do something wrong here. So now we try to provide this component with a prop that we didn't type. And then it complains and says that, yeah, this must be wrong because you want to send in a prop that you haven't typed. All right. Uh, and right now we can actually, instead of card component, we can have the name prop. Uh, yeah. And the image URL, yeah, we can put that one in a P tag. And we're going to change that later. So this is one way of doing it. There is another way, and that is instead of using this react.fc type, functional component type, on the component itself, on the function itself, you can type the props individually just as a regular function. So I'm going to copy this one. And I'm going to paste it in here and comment out the old one. And I'm going to remove this one here. And now it will yell at us because we haven't typed them. And it says it's implicit, it has an any type. So I've destructed out these props here. And this is just a regular function. The only difference here with React is that we name them with a capital C in this case. So we can type these props like this. We have the props object, and this is really, really fine, actually. And a lot of people are doing it like this. So it depends on how you want to specify, for example, your children. Because if we're using the react.fc, that one is taking care of the children. If we have any children to this one and send them in, you can see here now, children, it will complain because we haven't typed the children. So we have to explicitly type the children if we use this way of typing our props. So we can specify the children up here. And what type do the children have? Well, we have a type from react, react react node and this is the type to use for the children and then you can see it won't complain and we can use the children just as we do in our components like this so this is a way of typing your props and everything in a react component or this is another way so you can choose whatever you want i usually use react.fc because i don't care if it will type the children also for me even that i don't use them and that's the downside because it will always have the children type automatically with react.fc. So that's the way I'm doing it usually. But this is actually quite a neat way also. Now that I look at it, I think it looks pretty nice and readable. And in our case, we're not going to use any children. So we can remove it from the props and have it type like this. And it's perfectly fine. So this is how you type functional components in React. And we can look here in the app. Now it complains because it wants the props. You can see type is missing the following properties from type props, name and image URL. And that's the cool thing again with TypeScript because it will yell at you if you don't do it right. And in this case, we don't provide it with the props that we specified. So we have the name prop, uh, Thomas Webenfalk. All right, but then it complains again because we haven't provided the IMG URL prop, IMG URL, and it's also going to be a string, so we can just create a string like this. And now it won't complain. We can take a look at the application. It's my name, and we have the URL. So it's working, and we have successfully typed our components. And this is how you type the functional components in React. And we're going to move on. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to type some state and stuff and fetch some data from the API.